the sight of Allah, the Prophet ﷺ used to feel sorry for that. Above all, when he gives da'wah, when he calls people to Islam, and they are defiant, they resist and reject his efforts to get them out of darkness into the light. We usually could care less. I give da'wah to someone, he doesn't respond. He insists on being an atheist or agnostic or a Christian. I did my due diligence, I move on. I have no problem, no worries. Not our Prophet ﷺ. And this shows you that our da'wah is not sincere and perfect as his. This is why we're failing in getting the same results as he did alayhi salatu wasalam. Listen to what Allah had mentioned in many, many verses of the Quran. Allah says, we know that you, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam, are saddened by what they say. And indeed, they do not call you untruthful, but it is the verses of Allah that the wrongdoers reject. So, He's saddened by their rejection. Allah also says, Then perhaps you would kill yourself through grief over them, O Muhammad, if they do not believe in this message and out of sorrow, which Allah Azza wa is telling His Prophet, take it easy on yourself. Don't be depressed. Don't grieve so much over them so that it may kill you. And this is an indication that grief and sorrow may cause a person to die. And we see this. Anxiety, panic attacks, people who grieve over something and they get a heart attack and they die 